These labs could hold the key to beating the coronavirus. The Cambridge team's been working on a vaccine for months. They've been given two million pounds by the government to start the first tests on humans. This is a highly secure lab. We're not actually allowed in, but they tested this vaccine initially on animals. And in this lab, they checked to see how effective it was. So Rebecca, what were your early results when you tested it on animals? So with these early results, they were very promising and we have confidence in them. So we're really looking forward now to setting up and getting the vaccine into manufacturing. And then from there, we will take it into the clinic. The Cambridge vaccine is one of around 170 being developed in the world. Currently, a team from Oxford University is the front runner, but we'll need lots of different vaccines to fight this disease. In case one fails, we don't have time, you know, to wait to advance a second or a third candidate. So it's important to move all of these as far along as possible. They're trying to train the body's immune system to target the right part of the virus, because getting it wrong can be dangerous. We know that historically, with coronaviruses, that if you do vaccinate with the wrong kind of vaccine, for instance in domestic cats who have a similar viral infection, that you can make the disease more severe. One of the biggest issues with vaccines is having to keep it in freezers and inject it quickly, not easy in poorer countries. The Cambridge vaccine can potentially be freeze-dried, making it much easier to store. You also won't need a needle to get it in. So now the vaccine is in here and we're ready to administer that to our bicep. 90 degree angle, make sure that it's close and then once you're ready you'll hear a big click and that essentially means that the vaccine has been administered. So, so that's gone into your skin but without putting a pinprick through it basically? There's no needle and as you can see there's no hole. So how's it gone in? So it's a high powered jet stream that allows the vaccine to pass through the, the layer of skin um, and then it is inside the human body as you would wish it to be. This money will pay for phase one trials where it's given to dozens of healthy volunteers to make sure there are no side effects. But they'll need a lot more money and time to test how well it protects large numbers of people from the virus. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.